All right, so hello. Today we're gonna figure out how to put a Blu-ray drive in an external bay enclosure. Should be simple. Got my iFixit kit here if I need to. I got my cell phone and I got my Blu-ray player hopefully and my external drive. The external drive, it's going to be a uh, Nexstar DX. Apparently this will work with this Blu-ray drive, which was a LG something or other. Let's open up this one first, figure this out. Cool. This is the stupidest way to transport them, but I guess it's also the cheapest. LG. Yeah. Doesn't even give me anything. No. LG N40 something or other Blu ray player. I forget what exactly it is. There we go. There we go. Um, so that looks fairly easy. Alright, so that one's there. Next is the enclosure. Cool. This is really dumb. Alright, you got the box. Open it up. Let's open it up. There, 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 there. Oh, looky. There it is. Right out, down. Also, something else out of the box. Should be, should be the uh, power supply. Let's open this up real quick. So, so I can confirm. Yes, it is the power supply. Cool. Yeesh. Okay, take bolts, sets of foam off. Easy peasy. Hey, look at that. That looks really dumb. Okay, so inside is, I guess, the instruction manual. Let's take it off. And. Alright, so it's the USB-A and, I guess, the instruction manual. How to do this. Okay. Remove the back panel. Slide the tray out. Insert the drive. And then close it all back up. Cool. I really hope that they have all the... Oh, they didn't come with a bag of you. Okay, so there's the back screws. Cool. Alright, so. Instructions are getting way too big over here. This, I guess, goes in. Alright, so I guess you want to line it up so it slides in this way. You want to put that cable in in there out in there you see the little port right there you want to just plug this in when it gets close enough 
Whoa, over there. Whoa, over there. Yep. There we go. And it just sits right there. And you got some screw screws. Let's get some. Let's move that out the way. That out the way. And okay, we're gonna need. You're gonna need Phillips for this kit. Grab that and let's grab a decent sized Phillips. Not the black ones, the black ones are for the lid. The four silver screws you want to put over there. I guess grab this. Okay, we're just making sure they line up and go at it. And oh, um, I don't think it tells you which side to do. But to be safe, I'll do two on this side, two on this side, I guess. I don't know what's happening here. Should have required eight, but. There was only four screws. All right. Then, uh, shoot. ROM version 1.4. Hopefully, this works with my thing. So, this goes. No, this goes. Okay. It's this way. And we get this, I guess, up. Hmm. How did this come apart again? Or is it the other way? Hmm. There we go. Yep. And then this. Line up the holes, and then two screws, one on each side. Oh, shoot. There we go. That's, that's a big boy right there. That's beefy. Well, we're going to try it out. So, power cable in, USB cable in. Okay, there we go. That's in, that's in. We're going to plug it in up here and plug it in over here. And in about three seconds, we'll figure out if this thing's going to explode on me or not. Hopefully not. I hope it really isn't a cheap piece of... Hey, we got some lights. Hey, all right. That works pretty well then, I 
guess. Let me just put away my iFixit kit. So I don't think we're going to need to grab it anytime soon. All right. So, as you can see, it lights up right there. Oop. And then, ooh, we got our disk drive. Cool. So, that does not sound good. Let's throw a DVD in there. Or, no, Blu-ray. Mm, something I can not care for right away. Uh, uh, oh, man. Like, all my Blu-ray stuff is pretty decent. Uh, well, because this is probably the one that I'm not going to fuss over too much if it dies. I mean, I should really... Yeah, whatever. Spider-Man, let's do this. Where's the Blu-ray? The Blu-ray one? It's, that's the DVD one. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's... Because it's supposed to read DVDs too. Let's throw a DVD in here. Because I have the Blu-ray copy of it. And if that don't work, we can uh, do whatever with it. All right, so let's switch over to, oh man, VLC. Where's VLC when I need it? There you are. Let's see, media. Uh, open disk. Hey, okay. So let's uh let's swap cameras. Let's go into All right, let's go into Where is it now? Cuz I know you want to look at it. Gaming, I guess. All right, we're going to VLC right now. Let's go to media. Open disk. And it registers Spider-Man Homecoming. So, that's pretty cool. And then we play it. And it's doing its thing. And it's doing this blinky thing on the... I know you can't see it right now. But it's doing its blink thing where it's reading the disc. Hey, cool. So it is reading the disc. So before I... This is Jumanji. Alright, so it works. It, it clearly works. For a DVD. I'm going to see if it works for Blu-ray. Let's, let's open that up now. Okay. See if it works on Blu-ray. Hmm. Oh. And VLC again. Why did I close that? And we're going to go to game. Hey, it showed up. Choose what to do with Blu-rays. Play the Blu-ray. Uh, okay. Your input can't be open. VLC open. Uh, clear? Close. So I can't actually play it back with VLC player. Can I? 
was unable to open it. Huh. Huh. But it does give me the... Alright. Yep, okay, so it does read it. That's the most important part. Um, Alright, yeah, it does read it. Alright, so we're gonna exit on out of here. So, that's how you... Oof. Get your uh, Blu-ray drive in an external enclosure. Um, just gotta find the appropriate program to watch it. That's the problem. So, what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be trying to rip this all onto my server so I don't have to have the Blu-ray on me all the time. No valid titles found. Cool. So when I do this, so for right now this works uh, for what I need it to. I can see now why VLC, well, with VLC player not running, why Blu-ray players aren't really a thing in the market. It's, it's strange because everyone's going to have one, at least on their Xbox or PS3 or PS4. Or when did when did they when did they start that? Yeah, no, they started that with the PS3. And then Xbox One has it, and everyone else after that has it. Um, but I'm surprised that the VLC player doesn't have a codec for it. Or maybe it does, and it's just not standard on the player as of yet. So I'm going to be messing around with this for the rest of the day. And I'll see you all on another day when I figure out how this works correctly. All right. Bye.